Welcome. I welcome you all to this lecture in the course Samasa in Paninian Grammar and this is the first course on Samasa. As is our practice, we begin our lecture with the recitation of the Mangala Charana. Vishvesham Satchidanandam Vandeham Yokhilan Jagat Chari Karti Bari Bharti Sanjari Harti Leelaya Vishvesham Satchidanandam Vandeham Yokhilan Jagat Chari karti, bari bharti, sanjari harti lilaya. We are studying Tatpurusha Samasa. We said that Tatpurusha Samasa is one of the important Samasas in Sanskrit along with Avyayibhava, Bahuvrihi and Dvandva. Tatpurusha Samasa is special because Tatpurusha Samasa is treated by Panini in a special manner. There are more number of sutras dealing with the Tatpurusha Samasa as compared to the other Samasas, be it Samasa Vidhayaka Sutra or Samasanta Vidhayaka Sutra or Swara Vidhayaka Sutras, Tatpurusha Samasa has got more number of sutras. Also is the case of the varieties of Tatpurusha Samasa, which are many as compared to the other Samasas. And so Tatpurusha Samasa becomes very important, a very big umbrella. With the help of this equation, Tatpurusha Samasa and its features can be also easily explained. We have X and Y as two entities separate, independent of each other in terms of the word form as well as the meaning as well as the accent. X has got an independent separate meaning, so does Y and so is there a different word form of X and so is there a word form of Y independent of X. Similarly, there are accents on X and Y which are independent and which are separate. When the speaker of Sanskrit decides to merge these two X and Y together, primarily because X and Y even though are independent are interrelated, then the process of compounding happens and the output which is merged namely X, Y is generated. Now there is only one word now there is only one meaning and now there is only one accent to this newly generated output which is one. This XY is such that Y plays the role of the head which means that if XY is to be interrelated to any other word in the sentence, this interrelation happens only through Y. If at all, the interrelation of X, Y also happens with X, also happens through X, then such a Samasa is treated as Asamartha Samasa. So Aikapadya, Aikarthya and Aikasvarya are the three features that are also visible in the Tatpurusha Samasa in this particular manner. We also studied several varieties of Tatpurusha Samasa. Right now we are studying a very important Samasa called Upapada Tatpurusha Samasa, a big variety of Tatpurusha. This Upapada Tatpurusha Samasa is stated by 2 to 19, which we have been studying so far. 2 to 19 is Upapadam Ating. 
and there are two padas in the sutra upapadam as well as ating both the padas are in prathama vibhakti upapadam is 1/1 which means the word designated as upapada and this is designated by sutra 3192 tatra upapadam saptami stham now this 1/1 after upapada decides the position it will occupy in the samasa first the sutra prathama nirdishtam samasa upasarjanam applies and makes upapada technically upasarjana and then by the application of the sutra upasarjanam purvam this upapada is said to occupy the first position in the compound in the samasa its purva nipata takes place the second word in the sutra is a thing what it means is which is not a thing which means which is not a thing anta eventually words continued are sup and sahasupa and also of course samartha pada vidhi the meaning of the sutra on the basis of the material that we have seen so far is the following any subanta whose pratipadikas are designated as upapada is compounded with any other interrelated word which is not a tinganta i repeat any subanta whose pratipadikas are designated as upapada is compounded with any other interrelated word which is not a tinganta now certain questions arise over here the first question is what is the need of the word a thing in this sutra and then what is achieved by this negation a thing because when we make not a thing and a condition for this sutra to apply the only other available option through this negation is that of a subanta i repeat when we make not a thing and a condition for this sutra to apply the only other available option through this negation is that of a subanta and this option is available to us anyway because of the continuation of the words sup and sahasupa so we are dis- we are forced to think that in this particular sutra the basic condition of sup sahasupa does not apply rather sup sah will only apply so we don't need a second subanta so the structure of the samasa thus formed can be shown in the following manner there are two subantas at the end of the first subanta appears su which is a sup and at the end of the second kridan second subanta which is not a subanta at the end of the second element there is there need not be a subanta we can have the word ending in krut so for example we have a pratipadika plus su over here we have a pratipadika plus su this is the first pada this is the purva pada with a subanta and then we have a dhatu plus krut now there is no subanta over here in such a case supadhatu pratipadika yoga will apply and will delete this su and then the finally derived output would be this pratipadika and the dhatu plus krut pratipadika we have been studying several sutras which prescribe krut suffixes as part of the derivation of the upapada tatpurusha compound and these suffixes are stated by the sutras stated in 3.2 we started with karmanyan and now we have to study this particular sutra 3256 which reads like this आढ्य सुभगस्थूल पलित नग्नांध प्रियशु 
अच्छेषु अच्छवौ क्रिया करण ख्यन आई रिपीट आढ़्य सुभगस्थूल पलित नग्नाध प्रियु च्यर्थेषु अच्छवौ क्रिया करण ख्यन द फर्स्ट वर्ड आढ़्य सुभग स्थूल पलित नग्न अंध प्रियु दिस वर्ड हेज गॉट सप्तमी बहुवचन एज इट्स विभक्ति दिस इंडिकेट्स द मीनिंग नेमली दैट वेन आढ़्य एट्सेट्रा आर द उपपद दिस वी अराइव एट विद द हेल्प ऑफ द सूत्र तत्रोपपदम सप्तमी स्थम चिव्यर्थेशु इज ऑल्सो सेवन स्लैश थ्री विच इज द एडजेक्टिव ऑफ द उपपद इन द सेंस ऑफ द सफिक्स च्वी सो द मीनिंग च्वी द मीनिंग ऑफ द सफिक्स च्वी इज टू बी इंटेंडेड बट द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज द नेक्स्ट वर्ड अच्व इन द एबसेंस ऑफ द सफिक्स च्वी सो द मीनिंग ऑफ द सफिक्स हैज टू बी देर but there should not be this affix chvi to express such a meaning there should be an absence of such a suffix so achvo is in the absence of the suffix chvi kriya is 5/1 which means immediately after the verbal root kru to do karane is 7/1 meaning in the sense of the most effective instrument and kyun is 1/1 meaning the suffix kyun and the suffix kyun is added so the suffix kyun means karana in this particular sutra words continued are dhatoho from 3191 which means immediately after a verbal root pratyayah which is 311 karmani from karmanyan 7/1 tatropapadam saptami stham 3192 krudating 3193 so now the meaning of the sutra is the following the suffix khyun is added in the sense of karana to verbal root kru when the upapadas are adhya subhaga etc which are related to the action of doing in the sense of a karma and also in the sense of the suffix chvi but in the absence of the suffix chvi i repeat the suffix khyun is added in the sense of karana to the verbal root kru when the upapadas are adhya etc which are related to the action of doing in the sense of a karma and also in the sense of the suffix chvi but in the absence of the suffix chvi what is the meaning of the suffix chvi the meaning of the suffix chvi is abhuta tadbhava something that is not there is now made to be in the suffix khyun the marker kh triggers the addition of the augment m stated in the sutra as mum to the purva pad by 6366 so here we have an example the meaning to be conveyed is that the most effective means by which a non wealthy person is made wealthy the most effective means indicate the karana by which a non wealthy person is made wealthy indicates the abhuta tadbhava the non wealthiness is abhuta and now when the person is made wealthy this abhuta is turned into tadbhava so we have the laukika vigraha anadhyam adhyam kurvanti anena so the suffix khyun is added in the sense of karana or the most effective means indicated in this laukika vigraha by the word anena and then we turn this into an alaukika vigraha which is then adhya plus am plus kru plus q khyun 
Now, this becomes a samasa and then this becomes a pratipadika, after which supodhatu pratipadika yoha applies and deletes am. So we get adhya plus zero plus kru plus u. In kyun, ka is anubandha and na is also an anubandha. Dashakva taddhiti makes ka as the anubandha and halantya makes na the anubandha. Tasya lopaha deletes both of them. What remains is u. So we have adhya plus zero plus kru plus u. After which, next stage, we add the augment ma to the purva pada. So we have adhya plus zero plus ma plus kru plus ana, where u is substituted by ana by yuvo ranako 711. And then we have adhya plus zero and ma plus kar plus ana. Now kru is substituted by kar, which is a guna substitute by Sarvadhatu Karadhatu Ka Yoho 7384 and then we get the form Adhyankarana Ma is substituted by Anusvara and then we get Adhyankarana as the finally derived output. Similarly, we will get the other outputs as well. So when the meaning is the most effective means by which a non-blessed is made blessed. A subhagam subhagam karoti anena. And then the output generated would be subhagam karanam. When the meaning is the most effective means by which a non-big is made big. A sthulam sthulam karoti anena. And so we have sthulam karanam. And then we also have the most effective means by which a non-old is made old. When this meaning is to be conveyed, we get a palitam palitam karoti anena and the output generated is palitam karanam. Similarly, when the meaning to be conveyed is the most effective means by which a non-nude is made nude. Anagnam nagnam karoti anena, and we get the output generated as nagnam karanam. Similarly, when the meaning is the most effective means by which a non blind is made blind, anandham andham karoti anena, and so we have andham karanam as the output generated. Similarly, when the meaning to be conveyed is the most effective means by which a non-pleasant is made pleasant. And so we have a priyam priyam karoti anena as the laukika vigraha from which the output generated would be priyam karanam. This is how the suffix kyun added to the verbal root kru with these upapadas would generate outputs. These are all the upapada tatpurusha samasas. Let us now go to the next sutra, Kartari Bhavaha Kishnuch Khukayam, 3257. There are three padas in the sutra, Kartari 7 slash 1, Bhavaha 5 slash 1, and Kishnuch Khukayam 1 slash 2. Kartari is 7 slash 1, which means in the sense of an agent. Bhuvaha is 5 slash 1, which means immediately after the verbal root bhu. Kishnuch kukayau is 1 slash 2. Kishnuch kukayau eventually means ishnu and uka. Because kh and ch and y, they are the markers. Words continued are dhatoho 3191, immediately after a verbal root. Pratyayaha 311. So, Krishna's Kukayo are the Pratyayas. Tatropapadam Saptamistham from 3192. Kridating 3193. Adhya Subhaga etc. 7 slash 3, which means when these are the Upapadas. Chvyaratheshu continues, which means in the sense of the suffix Chvi, when these Upapadas 
also denote the sense of the suffix chvi that is abhuta tadbhava but achvau when the chvi suffix is not present in the absence of the suffix chvi all these put together the meaning of the sutra would be the suffixes kishnuch and kukai are added in the sense of karta to verbal root bhu when the upapadas are adhya subhaga etc also in the sense of the suffix chvi but in the absence of the suffix chvi i repeat the suffixes kishnuch and kukai are added in the sense of karta to verbal root bhu when the upapadas are adhya etc and also in the sense of the suffix chvi but in the absence of the suffix chvi so here are the example anadhyah adhyah bhavati the meaning is one who is not wealthy becomes wealthy and the laukika vigraha is anadhyah adhyah bhavati the alaukika vigraha would be adhya plus su plus bhu plus kishnuch or kukai then the samasa saudhya takes place then the pratipadika saudhya takes place and then we apply supodhatu pratipadika yoho and then am gets deleted and so we have and then su gets deleted and so we have adhya plus zero plus bhu plus ishnu or oka and then we have adhya plus zero and then the augment ma comes into being it is added at the end of the purva pada so adhya plus zero and ma plus bhava plus ishnu or bhava plus oka so because of the suffix ishnu there is guna substitution in bhu so bhu becomes bho and then the sandhi rule applies bho becomes bhav and because of the marker y in kokai bho becomes bhau which is a vriddhi substitute and then there is sandhi rule h o y y v which applies and substitutes av by av so we have bhav plus uk that is bhavuk and so the output generated is adhyam bhavishnu as well as adhyam bhavuka this is the samasa output similarly when the meaning to be expressed is one who is not blessed becomes blessed asubhagah subhago bhavati we have the samasa output subhagam bhavishnu as well as subhagam bhavukah similarly one who is not big becomes big when this meaning is to be conveyed the laukika vigraha is asthula sthulo bhavati and the samasa output generated would be sthulam bhavishnu as well as sthulam bhavuka similarly when the meaning is one who is not old becomes old the laukika vigraha is apalitaha palito bhavati and the output generated is palitam bhavishnu as well as palitam bhavuka similarly when the meaning to be conveyed is one who is not nude becomes nude anagnah nagno bhavati is the laukika vigraha and the samasa output generated is nagnam bhavishnu as well as nagnam bhavuka similarly when the meaning is one who is a non blind becomes blind and if this meaning is to be conveyed we have anandha andho bhavati as the laukika vigraha and the compound generated is andham bhavishnu or andham bhavuka similarly when the meaning is one who is non pleasant becomes pleasant apriya priyo bhavati is the laukika vigraha and priyam bhavishnu as well as priyam bhavuka is the compound output generated this is how 
the sutra 3 to 57 applies and the upapada tatpurusha samasas are generated now let us see another sutra which prescribes another pratyaya tyadadishu drishaha analochane kaincha 3 to 60 i repeat tyadadishu drishaha analochane kaincha this sutra has got five words five padas tyadadishu is 7 slash 3 when tyadadis are the upapadas tyadadis are tyad tad yad etid etad idam adas ekadvi drishaha is 5 slash 1 of drish which means immediately after the verbal root drish to see analochani is 7 slash 1 meaning not in the sense of seeing rather in the sense of similar kai is 1 slash 1 kai means a ka is a marker ya is a marker what remains is a ch means and so ch also brings quin from 3 to 58 so the meaning of the sutra is the following the suffixes kai or quin are added in the sense of karta to the verbal root drusha which means to see when the upapadas are tyad etc and they are related to the action of doing in the sense of a karma and if the verbal root does not denote the action of seeing and if the compound is rather denoting being similar i repeat the suffixes kai or quin are added in the sense of karta to verbal root drusha to see when the upapadas are tyad tad etc which are related to the action of doing related to the action of seeing in the sense of a karma and if the verbal root does not denote the action of seeing and if the compound is rather denoting being similar so here we have tyad plus am plus drusha plus kai or quin and here we have the samasa saudhnya happening and then pratipadika saudhnya takes place and so we have tyad plus zero plus drusha plus a or zero now this tyad plus zero is caused by sopodhatu pratipadika yoho and drusha plus a or zero this zero is caused by the suffix quin which is a zero suffix by itself then by applying tadadina maha the is substituted by a so we have tya plus drasha plus a and then by applying other sutras we get the lengthening tya and drasha and a and tya drasha is the output generated and also tya drash when we apply kai the output is tya drasha ending in short a when we apply quin we generate the output ending in sh tyadrash similarly we have tadrasha and tadrash yadrasha and yadrash etadrasha and etadrash generated also we have sadrasha and sadrash and anyadrasha and anyadrash as the other forms generated by this particular sutra and these are all the upapada satpurusha compounds to summarize the suffixes in this particular section mean different karakas by default they mean the agent by the sutra kartari krita but sometimes they also mean the most effective means namely the karana complex semantic conditions do play a key role in getting some compounds generated where the meaning of a particular suffix is understood but the suffix is not physically present the input compound meaning sometimes overrides the meaning of the verbal root recorded in the lexica these are the texts referred to thank you for your patience